joining me again to paint in watercolor. Today I've got this divine flower. I'm going to move it up for the camera this way. <laughs> Today I've got this beautiful flower and um, I'm going to remember its name probably halfway through the video. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, it's from my mum's garden and I thought it was such a beautiful subject matter. So you can see there I've got a bit of a, a design. I'm unlikely to include the um, leaf because I'm just pretty happy with that. I'm going to go with the simplicity. this face in. I can't remember what I actually drew. Clearly it wasn't good enough. A, a drawing. Pretty funny. Yeah. And then come in with the blue. Yeah. 
streaks. Um, just going to indicate where that petal comes to. That goes under. This is another petal. So I think I'll put a dark bit in and try and leave the edges white. Got a little space over there, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of tone on it. Maybe we'll oh, make that blue run. This blue has run a little more than I wanted, so I'm just going to gather some of that up. I'm washing it off, and then I'm going to dry it on my towel a little bit and then gather it up again. Wash and Put it on my towel again. You can just see that off to the left of the camera there. And gather that up. That's better. Now this space is not logical. I'm going to pick up some of that little bits of paint up here and put tone over here. Just a tiny bit. That's a space I quite like. Just going to turn it into a thirsty brush again and drag it into there. I like that space, so that's why I want to try and keep it. And I'm going to try really hard to keep this space. So I'm just going to see if I can re-establish that line there. Just constantly removing the excess moisture and dragging it off. It's very wet, so it keeps running back in. Oh, there's a little bit of... So this time I'm going to go in for the thicker blue. Uh, so it's half, it's on its way to drying. So if I'm lucky, I'll get some of this blue staying there rather than just dissipating into the, there, just gathering up the thicker stuff. Thicker paint to darken under there. And then I want to darken the base of the uh, stamen. So I'm just looking for some thick paint. Here's some thicker quinacridone violet. This is definitely the violet here. So I wonder if I can just dot in. Yep, that's going nicely. Putting a few more lines with that thicker paint. So when it's really wet, the lines, the wet and wet lines dissipate and when it moves to this half dry state, half wet, you can um, re-establish your wet in wet lines. 
And again, squeeze out all the excess moisture, making sure there's no drips on the ferrule. And, oh, that's better, there. So I don't want to lose that beautiful um, space there. Everything else is quite heavy at what I've done. So that space is important. I'm just going to make that line there. I might re-establish that line. Oh, uh-oh, put on some color. Just cleaning it off. So the water is running into this petal and it's doing the most beautiful thing. Well, that is a happy accident if ever I've seen one. Might take off a little bit here and here. Some colours lift more easily than others. Right, I'm going to definitely go and dry it off now. And I've got just enough time to dry it off and maybe finish it before my guests arrive. It's Father's Day today. Dry with the hair dryer. Today I'm just going to finish off. So one of the first things I'm going to do is um, add some highlights to the centre of the flower. And I, um, I know that this is actually quite dark, but I want it, I'm using a white watercolor pencil here. Uh, I want it to jump out and I want to add more interest to the center of the flower. So I'm just adding little highlights using a white watercolor pencil some over there as well. Maybe some dots over here. Okay. What I was doing at the end was just um, making the petals sit on, uh, look as though they're sitting one in front of the other. So I'm just going to um, complete this petal sitting on top of this petal here. Here's the exact same mix of yesterday. It's one of the very many wonderful ways in which watercolour is marvellous. There's my palette from yesterday. I didn't have to do a thing and it's just sitting there ready for me to 
is what I was trying to do is make this petal look like it's sitting on top of that one. And I, so I need to improve this line up here if I'm going to do that. If I'm going to pull that off, I was trying to make this one sit on top of that one, which it was doing yesterday. Uh, and it sits on top of that, sits on top of that. And the same petal sits on top of this one here. So I'm going to add some darks to this section here. Negatively paint the petal. Sorry about me not finishing my sentences. I get um, so focused on what I'm doing, I forget that I'm talking. Or I forget that I'm supposed to be talking anyway. Right. Um, with just a little bit of water, I'm going to bring this edge, just soften tiny bits soften tiny bits is like that. So the stem would come out of the stamen and run down there and come here. It's all quite wet there. So I wonder if I suggest with my green, really mixing lots of the viridian, but it's still kind of gray green. I might imagine that it comes down and goes like that. Maybe a couple of more um, little white highlights in here, maybe some little lines. Oh, I quite like that. That's a little better. 